Well, another big road trip lies ahead for South Dakota football this weekend as the Coyotes get set to head to Montana for a date with the third-ranked Grizzlies. Here to talk about that is head coach Bob Nielsen. And, Bob, uh, you know, we, we've talked a lot about the schedule, and you were at K-State last week. Obviously a very difficult challenge in its own right, but now an FCS-level opponent, your first of the year, just happens to be top three in the country. Yeah, great uh, football team, great football tradition there at uh, Montana. Um, you know, I've never been there. Uh, I've heard it's an unbelievable environment, uh, you know, well over 20,000 fans in the stadium. They sell out uh, uh, every home game, and uh, uh, people have said it's one of the loudest in environments in all of college football. I can attest to that. I have actually been there a couple of times, and it is an incredible game day experience, no doubt. They had 24,000-plus there last week for their win against uh, Northwestern State. But uh, you talked about last week, I- I- after the game against Kansas State, that environment certainly was going to prepare you for what you would face in Missoula this weekend. But you also said that the experience of that 34 nothing loss to the Wildcats was going to have to make your football team better because of the schedule that you guys were going to be facing. So what specifically going into this one are you going to be looking for out of your football team in terms of improvement? Yeah, we, we came out of that game um, – and it was it was really clear that we made some gross mistakes, and uh, you know we had talked about the the schedule this year forcing us to to be a team that plays at its very best, um, not just every not once in a while, but every quarter and and all sixty minutes. And we didn't do that against uh, Kansas State. Uh, something that we have to do uh, against Montana. They're a little different style football team, and. They cause you some some different problems than what K-State uh, did, but the bottom line is we've got to execute at a higher level in all three phases of the game. As we get into what and who you're going to be facing with the Grizz, it certainly starts with their seventh-year quarterback, Lucas Johnson. You don't see many of those. Uh, maybe a little more common these days than it's been in the past, but this is a guy that's previously spent time at Georgia Tech and San Diego State before making his way to Missoula for this fall season. He threw for Four touchdowns, 204 yards, and there I win uh, over Northwestern State. Uh, Also ran for 76. So clearly a guy who can hurt you in in multiple ways. How do you go about making him uncomfortable? Yeah, dual threat quarterback uh, that has a lot of experience. Um, He's played a lot of games, uh, started a lot of games at San Diego State. Um, A guy that uh, uh, you have to account for uh, as a runner. They uh, they have some designed uh, quarterback run plays as well as uh, his ability to extend plays and and make plays with his feet out of the pocket. And one of his long runs on on, uh, uh, last Saturday was that type of a situation where he went back to pass, got loose, and created, uh, you know, an opportunity for him to extend a drive. Uh, so we got to do a good job of containing him in the pocket. Um, we have to do a good job of recognizing the formations and the looks that are designed quarterback runs to to be able to account for him uh, as a runner in those sets. You know, it's kind of like last week. You know, with Adrian Martinez, not knowing what we were going to get, but knowing that his capability of running the football, we had to account for him in those ways all the time. And I felt honestly like you take a couple of big plays away and your defense represented itself pretty well in that game against Martinez and the rest of that K-State offense because as we talked about, this, that was as an explosive of, of a group as you're going to see certainly at any point this season with the with the skill position players that they have. Yeah, outstanding skill players uh, on the perimeter. Wide receiver, you saw uh, the wide receiver on the 75-yard play, you know, on um, – to start the game, and and that was the di- only disappointing thing defensively. Honestly, was you know the fact that we gave up that play, and when we gave up that play, um, and that gave them a lot of momentum, got the crowd into the game from the very beginning, uh, put us on our heels a bit, um, and uh, we didn't do a great job of of digging out. On the other side for Montana defensively, this is one of the best groups in the big sky. They're particularly stout against the run, gave up less than 85 yards per game. Rushing last year held Northwestern State right around that number. Your ground game was impressive against K-State. It was one of the one of the highlights for you offensively with Travis Tice and Shamari Lawrence combining for 140 yards at over 5.5 yards per carry. How do you keep that going against this vaunted front? Yeah, they're, uh, uh, they're very different defensively. Um. They, even though they do it out of a three-man front, uh, there are a lot of movement, a lot of pressure. Um, you have to do a really good job in your identification, your IDs uh, for your offensive line. 
uh, <clears throat> we uh, and you have to be patient with your running game because there's going to be times when you know they they guess right and uh, hit you with a, a stunt in the right place and there's going to be other times where you have the ability to to crease them a bit and so uh, we've got to be consistent uh, and we've got to be uh, uh, patient with that run game and allow that to uh, uh, be a big part of our offense on on Saturday. The Grizz also forcing five turnovers in that season opening win so I imagine taking care of the football is a, a huge priority for you in this one. They do a great job rallying to the football and the second guy in is always trying to get it and uh, we got to win the turnover margin you know we we didn't turn the ball over a lot uh, but we were still minus one uh, on on Saturday, and it was a big turnover, a turnover where we actually had maybe stopped the momentum of K-State, and uh, and as a result, uh, you know, they took that turnover and created another touchdown drive. So uh, that'll be a big thing. we got to force some turnovers, and we got to take care of the football ourselves.